everyone, it's Fallout 4 Guy here and welcome to my little camping settlement at Nordhagen Beach. And as I'm sure you saw in the intro, uh, just this little motorhome RV thing. It's, it's a bit shit to be honest, I don't even like it really. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really, really proud of this build. In fact, I never ever pat myself on the back for any of my work. I'm my own worst critic to be honest, my own worst enemy. Um, but yeah, this one I'm actually going to give myself some credit for. This is hands down, without doubt, the most difficult thing I've ever built. And uh, that title was actually held by my a previous small time actually, which was probably a year or half, a year and a half, maybe, I don't know. It's, it's old, I built it a long time ago, and I've still not managed to top it until now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so the challenge I set myself was to not only beat that build uh, aesthetically and make a better looking motorhome, but also to kind of build a more difficult, complex one as well and give myself lots of headaches of course which i managed to do on all counts so so yeah so the, this is something i'm really pleased with how it's turned out um <clears throat> sorry i've got a bit of a sore throat this morning so if i sound a bit croaky uh, anyway i'm not going to talk about the build too much because um i'll do that in the behind the scenes as usual but what i will say just about uh, the mods you know use it's not a mod uh i don't normally like it when people ask what mods certain things are when i've actually built the thing itself it kind of just annoys me a bit but i will accept anyone <laughs> asking if it's a mod i forgive anyone because um i designed the the base part to look like it was an existing pre-war industrial type vehicle that uh, had then been adapted later post-war to have the motorhome part built on top so, so yeah, so I wanted it to look like that. So, if, you know, if someone says, oh, what mod is the, the base part from? I kind of, I'll forgive and expect people to ask that. I'll take it as a compliment, actually. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, it's not it's not a mod. It's all hand-built. Everything you see here is hand-built. It's built by tiny little pieces of these industrial parts. Um, again, I'll, I'll talk about that more in the behind-the-scenes video later. But, yeah, it was a lot of work, basically, in about, what, 50 hours? or so maybe yeah I, c I can't really say exactly but a long time most of my vehicles just to give you a bit of perspective take me about five hours or five or six hours max and this you know this took 50 plus but like i say it was worth it anyway i'll just uh, walk you around a little bit on the outside a bit more and then we'll talk about what's on here and i'll show you inside so i'm doing this style tour as well because there's lots of things to press and interact with inside little gadgets and stuff so i can't really do my cinematic style although people have actually commented and kind of moaned and gone oh you know i miss you i miss your old style and uh, when you talk on i don't know why why would you miss that weirdos but anyway this probably pleases you <laughs> so the um the post-apocalyptic theme is still going it's, it's a it's a holiday home yeah fair enough but i still want to remind people that we're in the apocalypse here, so you've got to have some defense the turret on the top um, is pretty. This, the, the, you know, it's the main part. It's pretty hefty, and uh, we've got like what dual cannon mini guns there. It's self-automated, like the ones that we've already got in the game. Although I think mine looks a little bit more like it could be automated. It's got like an infrared camera and a, another camera below it. There looks like it actually functions properly. <clears throat> we've got some PA, you know, speaker system there to blast some noise out of people, and then. Um, solar panels on both sides so it's you know can charge its batteries and power everything spare wheel here too more tools and other bits and bobs on there and then the usual defense barbed wire cage on the windows you know stop the the ghouls getting in and then something i thought was really cool and useful was this little winch system i made to hoist up anything really um, originally was going to have power armor hung on there, but I thought on holiday you might want to bring your bike along and have some have some fun on the sand dunes. So I thought the bike looked cool there. And then the little storage area under here to put the luggage and things in. So that was what you saw at the start of the video. What he was unloading his uh, gear to set up camp, which is doing here. I assume people would still come camping on, you know, on post-apocalyptic holidays why why wouldn't you you've got to have a break haven't you <laughs> and this guy's enjoying it no doubt having a few beers there mate you piss head and you just got here 10 beers so um the windows are what it to look like actually open and stuff but obviously they don't they're static but 
just thought it had a nice effect same as the doors lots of little little parts to make that shape of the door needed and then inside if you've seen my uh, any more of the bills like you know I always put a, a, a armory in my player homes it's kind of like got to be done this is no exception this one's a bit more family safe because you know lock it away and then the driver's cab really happy with this um, one of the things that I always wanted to do when I, st when I first started building vehicles was have an interior but I used to use a base vehicle so I couldn't really you know have that you have things glitched inside it and stuff and it just had no room but uh, since I started building my own from scratch it was always a, a good thing to be able to to build the, uh, the the cabins like and this is um this is a typical well for me at least typical motorhome looking cabin where they have like just shit everywhere it's a fucking mess like if you've ever been on holiday with any anybody like you know family and stuff and you're in this, one of these little motorhomes you know that the more people in there the more harder it is just to keep it clean because there's just stuff everywhere there's food and cartons and shit all over the place and uh, yeah this is no exception and then the, the controls I just thought well it's a, it's an industrial type of vehicle it would have maybe a, would have had a crane on at some point maybe or a tipper or something so a lot of these controls are for like stuff that's not no longer on board a little compass there because you know there's no sat nav but um but yeah and then the computer here for controlling the turret above and then onto the little living quarters so a bit more spacious than the mother one which is again another another point another thing i wanted to do i'll just have a bigger one really have more room a few more mod cons as well we've got skylight let some sunlight in the lights work as well obviously then we've got a kitchen all kitted out fully functioning typical kids look sun's out and shit and they're in here dickheads go out and play and this teenager one look at the look she hates me <laughs> she wants me to die i just thought it'd be nice to have a little set piece in here of like npcs doing stuff so created a little thing for the you know drawing and stuff like that and typical say teenage girl just chilling on the sofa yes i had to lay all those pencils <laughs> and then we've got tv uh, radio, PA thing, that kind of stuff. Got a little beer um, fridge. Keep your stuff cold in the sun. A little uh, fold-out table there. We've got uh, three beds on board. So the, the sofa bed, the obvious one. I wanted to have that pull-out. Would have loved to have a pull-out sofa bed, but it can't really be done on fallout. Um, so yeah, just like a sleeping bag on that on the bed, and then we've got a bed. <clears throat> above which is the usual type you'd have in an RV like this elevated bed more skylights as well look and watch the clouds or the stars and then um, a bed I've put in the floor here as well which I thought was pretty cool tucked away in the floor in fact we stand back here get a good look at the uh, the layout of the place it's quite big from front to back and then we've got a bathroom in here as well which is also quite spacious it's a bit more of a, a wet room type bathroom actually important to have a fan as well you don't want it stinking up the gaff <laughs> and that is pretty much it so it's a small build but you know you can appreciate the amount of work in fact the interior was um was really the the headache i think was the, the the main thing once i built the shape it was okay how do i feel this now how do i feel it effectively and how do i make it look like it's you know using the space as best it could as 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 all motorhomes are built like intelligently you know they they have to be uh, as compact as possible and have everything crammed in in neat ways i will just show you the other uh, the other people as well so these are uh, these holiday makers so i think in the intro these will be pushing out the boat if you if you were keen and noticed that the, the kids were pushing the boat out at the start but now they're out there and trying to get the mom to come out as well and go and visit the brotherhood of steel over there and play with them <laughs> not wise and then over here of course i mean realistically this is a little bit too compact um you know campers would be more spread out but i didn't want to have to walk half a mile down the beach for the video to show everybody so i just kind of put them all in for for ease of filming it setting up the tent 
got some older folks here that have got a bit more of a flash RV but not as flash as my mate nope and some hippie type girls hanging out and this tent I figured they're out on the day out somewhere maybe they're the ones on the beach I don't know <laughs> so yeah so I hope you like that I mean uh, I will talk about it much more in depth in the behind the scenes obviously um, but that was just a quick run round just to show you what, I, what I've been doing um, I think uh, I think I might have a break after this one <laughs> it's just giving me a headache but I really did enjoy doing it and as I say definitely uh, my most, I'm most proud of this build of anything I've done so far I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the behind the scenes. Take care.